Alrighty, taking a look at now Hurricane Elsa, which formed earlier this morning. We have the visible satellite imagery pulled up. Really nice representation of the storm as it crosses the Lesser Antilles. And now right now it is packing winds of 75 miles per hour with wind gust of 90 miles per hour. And this thing is moving. It is moving west northwest at 29 miles per hour. So you can see the convection and the thunderstorms trying to wrap around the center of that storm. Right now we do not see a well-defined storm because the thunderstorms are trying to keep up with the storm because it's moving so fast. As of right now, many islands are under a hurricane warning and watches through the weekend. So the latest forecast, it is projected to remain a category one hurricane through the weekend. And as it gets closer to Cuba, that's gonna be early Sunday morning when it interacts with land. It is expected to weaken into a tropical storm and then it's gonna make that north northward turn into Florida. So right now, Florida, it looks like it is going to be a Florida, Florida storm. The uncertainty is still pretty high as we head into Monday morning. So again, still a lot to watch here, but we have a subtropical upper level ridge that's staring this storm. As it retreats, that's when we'll start seeing Elsa making that turn. And we actually have a cold front that's gonna move through the area later on this afternoon, and that's actually going to bring widespread rain later on today, tonight, and into our holiday week weekend. Now we are looking at conducive weather uh, weather environment for Elsa to continue to strengthen. So strengthening is pretty possible as we head into the weekend here.